In this video we share Cardinal Robert Serra's challenge to priests and to the Church. Dear Brother Priests, Your mission is to carry the cross into the heart of the world. Your life is centered on the daily celebration of the sacrifice of the Mass, which renews the sacrifice of the cross. Your daily life is a continuation of the cross. You are the men of the cross. Be not afraid. With all my heart as a bishop, I wish to encourage you. Do not let yourselves be troubled by the rumors of the world. They mock your celibacy but they are afraid of you. Do not depart from the cross. It is the source of all life and of all true love. In anchoring your lives to the cross, you settle at the source of all good. We become avaricious, settled in our ways of comfort and security. This reminds me of what Cardinal Ratzinger prophetically calls bourgeois Christianity, that way of reducing Christianity to a philosophy of life from which any love that seemed radical or excessive would be banished. Before being loaded down with his cross and led off to Golgotha, he said, For this I have come into the world, to bear witness to the truth. Everyone who is of the truth hears my voice. There is a profound bond between the truth and chastity. This bond is the gratuitousness of love. The truth is loved for its own sake and not for what it brings us. Joseph Ratzinger, Benedict XVI, expressed this in an enlightening passage of his homily on October 6, 2006. The battle to preserve the roots of mankind is perhaps the greatest challenge our world has faced since its origins. Today we are witnessing the next stage, and the consummation, of the efforts to build a utopian paradise on earth without God. It is the stage of denying sin and the fall altogether. But the death of God results in the burial of good, beauty, love and truth. Good becomes evil, beauty is ugly, love becomes the satisfaction of sexual primal instincts, and truths are all relative. So all manner of immorality is not only accepted and tolerated today in advanced societies, but even promoted as a social good. The result is hostility to Christians, and, increasingly, religious persecution. This is why it is so important to fight to protect the family, the first cell of the life of the Church and every society. This is not about abstract ideas. It is not an ideological war between competing ideas. This is about defending ourselves, children and future generations from a demonic ideology that says children do not need mothers and fathers. It denies human nature and wants to cut off entire generations from God. I encourage you to truly make use of the freedom willed by your founding fathers, lest you lose it. Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.